The key arranger uses clips located in the session view for creating arrangements. In case you have clips in the arrangement view, set the loop around the clips you want to use, right click and select consolidate time to new scene. This gives you a new scene with consolidated clips. Drag the key arranger device to an empty MIDI track or to where it says drop files and devices here. If you installed the key arranger into your Max MIDI effect folder, you should be able to access it under categories, Max for Live, Max MIDI effect in the Ableton browser. Otherwise, you can access it by browsing to the location in your user library. In the key arranger interface, you should see now the track colors of all tracks that have clips. Set the loop length to a length you want to use when arranging, for example 4 or 8 bars. Enable arrange mode by selecting the arrange button. The button turns green and indicates that you can arrange using the keys on your MIDI keyboard. You should also see muted clips inside the loop in the arrangement view. Make sure your MIDI controller is controlling the track where you have the key arranger device. To make sure you can control all the tracks, you may have to adjust the octave up or down on your MIDI keyboard. You can check the current range by pressing some keys on your MIDI keyboard. If you see a message that says key is below active range or key is above active range, it means you're pressing a key that is out of range. To make sure you can control all the tracks, you may have to increase or decrease octave on your MIDI keyboard using the octave buttons. How many tracks you can control depends on how many keys you have on your keyboard. Of course you could access more tracks than you have keys since changing octaves on the keyboard is possible, but then you will start to lose some of the intuitive experience that the device is about. The default mapping starts at C2. On some keyboards a C is not the first key. If that is the case and you want to make full use of all your keys, click remap keys and hit the lowest key on your keyboard. Now the clips are mapped from that key. The function keys are always mapped from the next C sharp key above your current first key. If you can control all the tracks with your MIDI keyboard, you're good to go. Dots indicate a key is pressed. To start arranging, hold some keys on your MIDI keyboard. When a key is held, the corresponding clip will unmute and you will hear the sound of that clip. By trying out different combination of keys, you can quickly hear different alternatives for how the arrangement should start. Whenever you hear a combination of clips that you want to keep, you have two options. Keeping the clips and moving on to the next section, or keeping the clips and continue looping the section. To keep the playing clips and move on to the next section, press and release the Keep Section key. You will now get a copy of the current section. Live continues to the new section. To keep clips and continue looping the section, hold the Keep Section key. You can now add more tracks by pressing new keys or mute clips if you press keys that are currently playing. Whenever you press or hold the Keep Section key, the playing clips are printed, so you no longer have to hold any keys on your MIDI keyboard. The Keep Section key is the only function key you need to use to arrange a full song. There are also some other function keys that provide additional control. These are covered in a separate tutorial. If you change your tracks, like adding or deleting some, use the Update Tracks button to refresh the key arranger with the new track setup. If you are working on an arrangement while making track changes, remember to deactivate and reactivate it. Set the loop where you want a new arrangement to start, or where you want to continue an existing one. 
This ensures everything stays in sync with the updated track configuration. Naming your clips helps a lot, since you can see exactly what you have on the screen and what is being muted or unmuted as you press keys on your keyboard. Even though the key arranger can be used with a large number of tracks, a tip is to use it with a limited number of tracks. That way you can still see all your tracks on the screen. If you already have a large number of tracks in the set and would like to use the key arranger, an idea is to put your main parts on the top and start by arranging those. If you do have many layers, another tip is to consider using the voice feature to group your tracks. Your clip lengths can vary when arranging, as shorter clips will be extended and longer ones will span multiple sections. However, if clips contain automation, ensure they are at least as long as the section length. For example, if you have a 2 bar automated clip and want to use an 8 bar section length, duplicate the clip and its automation to make sure the clip automation is included when arranging. 